Hello and welcome back to Grow Ace. My name is Shane and today we've got a real treat for you guys. If you checked out our last video on CMH bulbs, then you got a sneak peek at this brand new LED prototype. Well, I'm pleased to introduce the King Cobb. Long live the King. King Cobb is the latest grow light to hit the market. This LED slightly differs from traditional LED technology. The Cobb in its name is actually an acronym which stands for Chip On Board. Chip On Board LEDs have chips that run directly off a circuit board. Because modular LEDs tend to run off a ballast and DIP lights are all wired indirectly into their light, there's a bit of disconnect between lights and light source. COB LEDs, however, are pretty much a circuit board diodes, and a modular fan for cooling. Traditional LEDs have diodes that project their given spectrum. Now on a COB, this wafer holds a cluster of diodes working together to produce a well-rounded spectrum. Because they are all clustered together and in a sense operating as a single unit, this is going to boost your efficiency. This unit will consume less energy than a traditional LED while giving off a fuller blended spectrum. Consuming less energy also means producing less heat, but we'll get to power consumption and heat a little later. The 3000K wavelength this grow light emits sits close enough to the warm spectrum to get your plants flowering when they're ready. At the same time, there's still enough of the cool spectrum to give your plants plenty of growth during the vegging stages. There's no swapping out HPS or MH bulbs like with HIDs, and there's no gaps in coverage like those multi-wavelength LEDs. With this LED, you'll get every bit of light other grow lights emit, and then some. The odd design of the King Cobb may be one of its best qualities. The spread out bars of LEDs allows you to customize your area of reach. If you have a tight knit grow, you can move these lights closer together, making a more focused position of light. On the other hand, if you have a large grow area, you can spread them out, optimizing the amount of plants this light reaches. Another benefit of the design is that because these LEDs are capable of being spread out, the heat this light produces will be more easily cooled versus building up on each other. Unlike other LEDs that operate fans to help cool the internal ballast, this light has heat sinks all over it to help dissipate that heat. Instead of running lots of little ballasts and fans, this light runs off a single ballast with deep heat sinks to help alleviate any concentrated heat. At the same time, each light bar also includes heat sinks for maximum heat dissipation. That means that this light will keep itself cool while maximizing every watt of energy that it consumes. The King Cobb comes in two sizes. There's 360 watt six bar and the 480 watt eight bar. Each light basically breaks down into the bars. One bar consumes about 60 watts. Both the 6 and the 8 bar are still in the 3000K spectrum. Now I'm sure you guys are curious how these lights perform. Well, we ran a PAR test and a heat test for you guys, and these are the results. We hung both the 6 and 8 bar 3 feet from the ground in a 4x4 grow tent. We got PAR readings for a spread out setup and a tight knit setup. The 360 watt 6 bar spread setup had a strong 538 in the center. The closed setup reads an even stronger 593 in the center and tapers off fairly well. We recommend this light for a 5x5 veg cycle and a 4x4 flowering cycle. From these charts, the 360 watt King Cobb could easily replace a 600 watt HPS. Now the 480 watt King Cobb clocked in with even stronger results. The spread bar setup came in with a solid 689 in the center, tapering off fairly well into the 300s. Now pushing the bars together, we get a strong 750 in the center, surrounded by well-rounded 600s. We recommend this light for a 6x6 veg cycle and a 5x5 flowering cycle. With readings like this, the 480 watt could easily replace a 1000 watt HPS. Running at 360 and 480 watts, let's see how the heat measured up. The 6 bar spread out setup started at 78.3 degrees and ended at 87.6 degrees. That was a 9.3 degree increase. The six bar closed setup started at 72 degrees and rose to 85 degrees, resulting in a 13 degree increase. The eight bar spread setup started at 77 degrees and raised to 90.5 degrees, resulting in a 13.5 degree increase. 
the 8 bar closed setup, start at 78.6 degrees and rose to 91.6 degrees with an even 13 degree increase. Overall, you can expect these lights to raise your temperature about 10 to 15 degrees. As you can see, chip on board technology really takes LED tech to the next level for indoor growers. All right, growers, that's all we've got for you guys today. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content in the future. And if you guys are interested in purchasing the King Cobb or getting a little more information, click the link. For more videos on other lighting reviews, click the links down below. Until next time, I've been Shane here with Growways, and make sure your guys' plants stay lit.